Hey, thanks for signing up for our online HVAC training. And I just wanted to give you a quick tour of the online classroom. Now, what you're looking at here is the home page after you log in. This happens to be my home page. I have several classes on here, but if you've just signed up for the HVAC technician course or some other course, this is all you'll see is just one course up here at the top. The other thing is, is if you haven't ordered your textbooks, this is the place to do so and you should probably get that going here so you can get started on your classes. Down below you'll see our HVAC training calendar. If we have any live training that's scheduled you can you're invited to any of those. This is open to anyone that's in any of the classes so even if it doesn't pertain to the class that you are in you're more than welcome to attend. So you click on your course and it's going to take you to the learning management part of the course. And the first thing to note is there is a message box up here and if you have any messages waiting it's going to tell you that you have a message waiting and you, we use the internal messaging system to communicate one-on-one -on -one and personally so that's between you and I. So if it's an administrative thing or a payment issue or you need to you're going to be away from the course for a couple months and, and just to give me a heads up that is what you do here in the messaging system. Then on down the row the the row here is the classroom forum and that is right here. Now this is where we talk about anything HVAC related as far as the coursework if you happen to have a home air conditioning or heating system you have a question on or if you're currently working in a, as an apartment maintenance technician and you have an issue or a question about HVAC this is where we talk about it. Now this is what happens if we get a good conversation going and I really appreciate it when you participate and you post. This just happened to be one of my students here. Back in November he had a gas furnace issue at his home that just wasn't working properly and this is an old horizontal unit and he was having some questions about what was going on and as we go through here he shoots he shoots a little, few more pictures I shoot him some pictures back then another one of our students Mahesh gets in there and he gets in the conversation and back and forth we go now if if you take a look at the classroom forum there's plenty of information a lot of things that go on like this it may or may not, may not pertain to you but it's a great place for you to learn things that you wouldn't normally learn otherwise or in any other class as well so I encourage you to participate in that. So we go back to the your classroom page and there's just some some administrative things up here but here's our first module, Temperature and Theory of Heat. Talks about your learning objectives here. And these are your reading assignments. Now these reading assignments are also keyed to lecture videos that pertain to the reading assignments. So you can pop it up right here after you read it. And then you can watch this as many times as you need to until you get it. Now when you look at key concepts or supplementary information as we go on down, that's information that's not covered in the textbook and, and I try and include that in as many instances and cases as I can. Oh, and the other thing to notice here is, is anytime I, I write an article or a some information that really doesn't pertain to a specific course but it pertains to the uh, site-wide students then you can go down here and you can click on this and read about fan cycling controls. So this, again this is information that's not covered in any textbook and you don't learn about this this information until you get out in the field. So just make sure you pay attention to the latest news and and check out all those topics as well. Alright so when you complete module one and you're ready to go you take your module one exam. There's a time limit of 90 minutes, 20 questions, minimum passing score of 80 percent. Now here is where things get a little bit different than what you're seeing here. You will not be able to access module two and so on until you complete module one with a score of 80 percent or greater. 
and then that unlocks module two and you can see it's not available unless you've achieved the required score for module one exam so on we go down here video lessons and so forth as you move down to module three there's some example service calls there's some uh, articles that are written as if two technicians are speaking to each other on a service call there's video lessons there are additional videos that don't pertain to the reading assignments and then if we get if I get too many questions on a specific topic then I'll go ahead and shoot this video on the uh, that specific question so everybody can learn here's supplementary information and then some interactive some small interactive refrigeration exercises that you can use to measure superheat and subcooling and just get a little bit of practice on converting pressures and temperatures and measuring superheat subcooling and doing a little of uh, some mental troubleshooting and then the rest of the course is laid out in the same manner any link that you see anything in blue is a video or supplementary information here's a hands-on video we're starting to shoot those as as they arise so this happens to be blower motor troubleshooting and and replacement we have some other interactive exercises as well and then as you go down here at the bottom we are doing a commercial refrigeration video class that we're shooting this year so you have access as long as you're one of the HVAC technician students you will have access to these videos and they don't always pertain to what you're learning but much of it does so feel free to enjoy these and, and partake of these as long as they're up there they'll be going to be up there for quite a while until this course gets done it's, it's video intensive so there's a lot of time all right guys so that is your classroom tour if you have any questions you can always call numbers right down here at the bottom you can use the online messaging system here and again the class form for any of your technical information